Hello people, how are you? Thank you for joining another video from my channel. Today we are going to start with a very special subject, React. And this is the first video of the entire series. We'll get into the details of what is this series about, what are we going to cover, all this stuff. Today is the introduction video. But before that, a special thing. Thank you very much guys for making this channel a successful one so far. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Today I have reached 1k subscriber. So this is a celebration moment. Yeah, so you are with me. Great. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I kind of create video with a lot of fun, a lot of knowledge and a lot of uh, intense content. And I kind of share them almost weekly so that you can learn from this. All right, so without waiting much, let's get into our first episode of the react series and know what is there in the back let's get the cat out you're with me all right let's do it the first video of the series is called get set go as the name suggests this particular video is about knowing what is this entire series about what you need to know before you start learning react so we are going to cover all these things in in this particular video all right, so before we start React, you have few things to note down, you have few things to know. The first thing in the list is about Git. Then comes HTML, then CSS, JavaScript, NPM ecosystem, then how to make you know, the app public by deploying it. I know that what you are thinking, there are lots to learn as a beginner. Don't be worried because for most of this topic, I have already created videos in this channel. And for whatever the topics left out, I'm going to create as well. Do I need to know everything deep about these topics? No. The answer is of course no. For example, if you are talking about Git, you need to know like, you know, how to stage, unstage your changes, how to commit your changes, how to push your changes, how to create a pull request, you know, that sort of thing. For HTML, very basic tags and usage of those. CSS, if you know about box model, flexbox, grid, or the selectors grid, if you don't know, most of the times I'm going to cover those along with learning React, you know, in this particular series. But if you have that knowledge, it's great. Now the main part, the JavaScript. The React is actually on top of JavaScript. So you got to know about JavaScript a bit well. For example, variable declarations, late, const, var, uh, functions, arrow functions, how about event handling, destructuring, spread and the rest, module import, export. These are the things that you need to know. So if you're wondering like, you know, from where I'll be learning those, most of these topics are again covered in this channel. Um, you know, for example, video de variable declaration, I have created a video, uh, destructuring, I have created a video. I have created an entire series on J JavaScript asynchronous programming and the first video from that series covers the functions very well. So the link to all those videos you will find in the description of this video so that you can actually learn about them. Of course, you can Google and learn from other resources as well. The topic that are not covered so far in form of videos in this channel, don't worry, I'm going to cover those as well. You need to know about NPM ecosystem, like, you know, what exactly node, you know, a bit about NPM command, yarn command, node version manager, so that your life become easy as a React developer. Uh, you got to know at a very high level, not really, really not in a very deeper level. Now, again, if you're looking for a video to learn this, I have created one under the Node.js playlist. Go ahead and check that out. And the last thing about deploying and making public, don't worry about that at all. We are going to learn this part of the series. So with that, what I'd like to tell you is like, I have kind of segregated this particular series into three different sections. Beginners, intermediate and advanced. If you think like, you know, if you don't agree with me on certain things like this is not a beginner topic, intermediate topic or as an expert topic, advanced topic, don't worry about it. Don't get into all those things at all. Because if you are going through this series in its entirety, be it for beginner, be it for intermediate, be it for advanced, doesn't matter. You are going to learn everything. Only thing is like, I'll go into certain sequence so that whoever really are the beginners, they don't feel very overwhelmed. They actually first start crawling, then kind of walking and then running. That's the whole philosophy. So as part of the, as part of the beginner stuff, what I'm going to cover is like, I'm going to cover about the environment to do React development, JSX, components, state and props, list and keys, and the life cycle. In the intermediate section, I'm going to cover about styling, React hooks, custom hooks writing, data handling, form handling, reconciliation, context, 
lazy loading these are all the topics that are that you must learn you know uh, to kind of develop react uh, in your project and in the advanced level i'm going to talk about state management how to do theming of your application like the dark light or any other color theming how to do routing you know how what are the patterns available best practices that you can actually take from the industry there are tons of developers already working on react what are the anti patterns so this overall kind of uh, take you through a journey of understanding react from the beginner level to advanced level i'm sure you're going to enjoy it yeah i said that it's project based when i discuss about you know the upcoming this series uh, i told that this is going to be project based so don't be disheartened if i have not called it out yet in this particular series it is going to be project based you are going to create lot many projects at least 8 to 10 projects of different scale you are going to create and you are going to learn doing complete hands on right so i'm sure that you are excited as excited as me and let's get started in the next video so as you have figured out that there are lots to come don't miss this opportunity learn react so what you can do is like you can if you have any questions about this please ask as a comment of this video or you know i have this twitter account at tapas adhikari so you can just go ahead and give a follow or you can actually do a direct message you know i will respond to your queries and uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel i just like to tell you that guys please subscribe so that you get notification about my videos when i actually publish them all right so very soon i'm coming back with the second video of this series where we'll get started with react environment to start coding in react right and in the meantime please brush up some of this javascript html git css stuff right we'll be back very soon until then take a great care of yourself see you then